Hello lovely people, and welcome to another Galactic Mayan Astrology Report. So I'm trying things a little bit differently, and as you can see, I'm sat on a sofa today, which is very exciting. And I've also brushed out my dreadlocks, which took forever, like an hour a dreadlock. But it felt like it was, you know, time to detangle some of the learning from the past few years and let go of the bits that were no longer serving and really embrace you know, the, the parts that have grown and developed. So yeah, really exciting. So this astrology report is for a whole new wave spell, which begins on the 11th of January, 2020. So this is our like first official wave spell of 2020, which is very exciting. And on the day that we transitioned into 2020, on the 1st of January, we were in the energy of red self-existing Skywalker. Red Skywalker is all about bringing heaven to earth and the four, the self-existing tone, is about structure. So for the next decade, the energy that we're working with is about the structure of bringing heaven to earth. And that links really nicely into this wave spell. So the wave spell we're moving into on the 11th of January is the energy of blue night. So blue night energy is all about the subconscious. It is related to the Aboriginal dream time. And essentially, it's this energy of, as a human race, we are collectively dreaming a dream. And as is the case within our dreams, it's our subconscious that's mainly creating that dream. Now, the gift, the opportunity, is to become the conscious dreamer. It's to be awake within this dream. It's to be having a lucid dream within this reality where we're not working on autopilot, where we're not coming from unconscious behaviour, trigger, 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 trigger. It's coming from a space of empowered action. So Blue Night Energy is about really exploring the structure of our subconscious. And this is something that links in with Pluto, um, because Pluto's transit essentially defines a generation and Pluto's energy is about the subconscious. So it's about the generational construct of the subconscious and it's different for each generation. So within this subconscious creation space, as with the Aboriginal dream time, there is a huge potential of energy for us to tap into with conscious awareness to bring through and create what we want to create within this reality. But we have had so much conditioning. Not only have we got our generational subconscious realm that's kind of set, like set up in a certain way, we've had all of the conditioning from our family lines, from the culture that we were born into, from many different sources. And that has created certain beliefs within our subconscious that mean that that potential of creativity gets filtered through a very limiting and limited structure. We may want to create incredible things. We may want to let spirit move through us in creativity and to bring forward new things for the world. But if we have got a load of structures within our subconscious that are very limiting, they don't allow that creation to come through. Now, there's something that really blew me away with all of this, which was the Lego movie. Um, I really recommend watching it and essentially within that if you see Lego pieces as you know the fibre of uh, the fibres of our reality that we can choose to build with within the Lego movie there's like Mr Corporation which is the bad guy and there's also the master builders and basically the master builders are conscious dreamers they are able to create these absolutely phenomenal things from the Lego bricks as opposed to the standard way of being, which is to keep living the same day again and again and again and recreating the same things with the limited tools. So really this journey of Blue Night is about us stepping into being the conscious dreamer, being the conscious creator and recognising where we are still living out our old patterns. It's a really amazing opportunity for us to recognise where we are living the dream and where we are living the nightmare and to begin to work with the nightmare to allow the space for more of the dream to manifest. Now on an individual level and on a collective level, 
we are in this really polarised point. And this was something that really came up on the retreat that I ran last weekend. You know, we've got this huge surge of incredible, connected community, spiritual living that we can all taste and feel and we're experiencing in so many different ways. But then at the same time, as is projected through the world media, we've got a lot of really difficult things, a lot of nightmarish things going on on the planet. So it's very important for us at this time to be focusing on what we need to do as an individual to clear out our own nightmares so that we can then have the space to be consciously dreaming the new dream that we want to manifest on the planet. It's all well and good saying, that's horrible on the planet, we want to live like this. But if within our individual lives, we're constantly replaying the horrendous dramas of our family conditioning and of our learned behaviour and we're not opening up that subconscious that holds all of our creative power, we're not doing anything to add to the dream that we want to be living either. So it's really about taking it into our own selves all the time so that from that place we can be of service and we can collectively grid in to dream the new dream. And that's really, you know, the tips for this wave spell is about gridding into what your heart dream is. What is your heart vision? But also gridding into your nightmare. What is it that is within your reality that is constantly replaying? Where did that come from? And when we even shine that, where did it come from, light on it, it diffuses the whole situation because we can see the drama of it. And when I say drama, I don't mean like drama queen. I mean literally enacting something, a scene that has been seen by us, you know? It's like with our families. We're constantly replaying what we have seen. Between birth and seven, we are a recording unit. So we take all of it in. And now we're sleeping and replaying these things. So it's really important for us to be like, oh, I can see that I'm replaying something here. Boom, it loses its power. And the more that we anchor in that awareness, every time we go back into that pattern, we see with greater awareness what's going on. We're able to dive in, do the emotional clearing and break it. So this wave spell is like super beautiful for gridding into what we're wanting to bring through. It's super beautiful for gridding into the collective. It's super beautiful for transforming what we've previously been living. But it's very much also about working with our subconscious, using tools that allow us to delve into our subconscious mind and reprogram it. EFT, NLP, you know, meditation, mindset tools, all of these different things that are about reprogramming. So in my world, really, it's about deprogramming. It's about taking away all of the structures, all of the expectations, all of the this is the way that it is and how it should be. So that then spirit can do the reprogramming. So that the higher energy that we are connected to and part of can do the reprogramming. So have a wonderful wave spell. Um, one thing that I would like to share as well, something that came through the retreat which feels very exciting, I'm going to be offering business coaching and it feels super potent because I've got a bit of a trinity of what I do within coaching and that's astrology, it's mindset and it's whatever your magic is. So when we combine those three, we look at how to create a business that works for you depending on how you operate how to do social media, how to create your offerings, how to figure out what they are, what is your wound and how can you create that into your gift, how can you be of service to the planet and then getting rid of and transforming everything that's in the way of that through mindset tools, so through EFT, through different visioning things, you know it's about really unhooking all of the things that hold us back from offering what we're wanting to offer based on who we are. So that's something that if you feel like you vibe with, get in touch with me about. I've not launched it yet, but I feel like I wanted to talk about it now. Um, and I'm going to be sort of fine tuning it all, so keep an eye on that. 
Also, sign up to my newsletter because I give a lot more information about the moon months and also the wave spells within that. It comes out every 13 days at the beginning of every wave spell. You can sign up to that and get in touch with me through my website, which is jyotiofferings.com. So have a wonderful wave spell and I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love and gratitude for watching. Take care.